People First Language. From birth, every person is different. Different eyes, different hair, different skin. We must embrace these differences. The nation's largest minority group is people with disabilities. One in five Americans have a disability. There is not a universal definition for disabilities because every person is different. What is people first language? It's when you define a person before his or her disability. It's describing what a person has, not what a person is. It eliminates hurtful comments and prejudice. It's not about being politically correct. It's about respect and thoughtfulness. Remember, person first, not the autistic boy, the crippled girl, the wheelchair guy, or the Downs gal. Words and phrases that should be avoided. Luke is blind. Carrie is autistic. Miranda is developmentally delayed. Nikki is nonverbal. Ava is handicapped. Lucy is learning disabled. Julia is a normal kid. Instead, try, Luke has a visual impairment. Carrie has autism. Miranda has a developmental delay. Nikki communicates with her iPad. Ava uses a wheelchair. Lucy has a learning disability. Julia does not have a disability. Notice all of these say what the individual has, not what the individual is. Language is powerful. Sometimes it is not necessarily what you say, it is how you say it. For example, meet Paisley. Paisley is five years old. She has two older brothers. She loves to play outside in color. Her family describes her as a Sour Patch Kid. She can be a little sour at first, but then she is super sweet. When Paisley grows up, she wants to be a princess. Paisley has Down Syndrome. Notice, Paisley is not defined by Down Syndrome. It is simply something she has along with her other qualities, traits, interests, and characteristics. People first language takes practice. Don't be discouraged if at first it is difficult. Learn from your mistakes and grow. The change can start with you. The following references were used in the making of this video.